hi welcome to this youtube channel i'm going to show you how to migrate your website to a new web hosting provider okay so if you have a website in a particular host and you wish to migrate it to another host this course and this video tutorial is for you so let's get started first thing i'm going to do is to choose a new hosting provider you must get another new hosting provider to move your website because you must move your website from one host to another host so to get a new web hosting provider you can check our old videos about hosting and their prices and the best hosting you can use okay so back to this video choose the new hosting provider that you want and uh, pay for it then get ready to accept the files that be coming from your old host then next thing you're going to do is to back up your website so that's where the practical starts from so depend on the web website you are using whether wordpress or custom website any type of website there are ways to back it up so for wordpress users let's see how it's done this is my wordpress blog um to back up your website using wordpress you can go to plugins add new Once it opens, then you head to all in one WP migration. There are other plugins that can do that, but this is the best. Once it opens, you can see mine is already um, installed and activated. So I'll head over to that plugin. I'll head to install plugins. You can see the files here. You can go through here or you can go through install plugins. So let's go direct to the plugin. I'll click on it. Then I'll scroll down. Uh, you can see import backup uh, exports. So you go to backups. Then these are the ones I've already done before. So you have to create a backup of your website and download it right into your computer. That's everything about your website. So you must create the backup by clicking here and downloading it straight into your computer. Then save the file. Next you are going to do is now to go to your new web host and uh, import it using this particular option here. You can see it. But that's when you have done the next steps I'm going to be talking about now. So after backing up your website, next thing you're going to do is to go to domain transfer or point of domain, pointing of domain. So if you're going to transfer your domain, that will be, you have to talk or discuss with your domain company. But if you're going to be pointing your domain, which I'm supposed you're going to do, you're going to get your name server of your old host. So for example, let's say you're using Hostinger or godaddy as your host this is what you're going to do so let's assume you want to point your domain to hostinger your new host all you have to do is to come to hostinger and type hostinger name servers then you can open any of these articles from hostinger to check the name servers then you can see the name servers here so each hosting company have their own name servers so you must copy the name servers out to paste it in the place you paid for your domain name so depending on the kind of uh, the, the particular host that you paid for your domain whether godaddy or any of the other hosting companies you must copy this into the name server of the host that you paid for your domain once you paste it, it will propagate. It can take three hours to four hours to propagate. So that means you've pointed your domain from your old hosting company to the new hosting company. So if your if your new host is GoDaddy, then search for GoDaddy name server. Any new host that you're paying for, search for the name server. They have it. Each hosting company have their name servers. So you must get it and go and paste it in the name server that you paid for your domain name. Because each time you pay for a domain name in a particular host, the that particular host will have the name server 
pointed to the company that you paid for it okay so if you are moving the if, if you're pointing the domain name to a new host you must paste the name server of the new host into the place you paid for your domain so that's how to point your domain to your new host after you are done with pointing your domain to your new host then next you are going to do is to import your files importing your files is very easy if you're using wordpress i've already showed you how to do that just go to your only one wp migration and import it or upload the files that you downloaded i told you for some couple of minutes ago so you must import those files into the new wordpress and automatically your wordpress will have all your files back okay if you're using the if you're using another platform to design a website whether it's a coded or custom made website then you can do this go to google and type uh, ftp protocol that's file transfer protocol this can also work for wordpress or any type of website so this file transfer protocol you must download it look at their website here so you click on it and download it then you can import your files or your files into your host is very very simple it works for any type of platform you're using to design your website almost all of them so this is nice and this is the best way to import all your files to your cpanel you make use of file transfer protocol so for more tutorials on tech please subscribe to this channel